I'm Gator Halpern. And I'm Sam Teicher. And we're the founders of Coral Vita, a company that grows climate change resilient corals to restore our world's dying reefs. Coral reefs are on the front line of climate change. We came here to the Bahamas to help communities and ecosystems adapt to our changing world. In May 2019, we opened the world's first commercial land-based coral farm for reef restoration in Freeport, Grand Bahama. In just four months, we developed thousands of new coral genotypes, used breakthrough micro-fragmenting technology to grow 20 native coral species up to 50 times faster than nature, all while strengthening their resilience to warmer and more acidic oceans. Things were going better than we ever could have hoped. But then, the fight against climate change came right to our front door. Rescue efforts are underway right now in parts of the Bahamas devastated by Category 5 Hurricane Dorian, wind gusts over 200 miles per hour at times. One government official describing the damage there as catastrophic. The storm was raging on us for two days and as it slowly abated Tuesday, the calls were still coming in for help from like people that were getting, you know, running up onto their roofs and things like that. And, you know, we realized we sort of had to do something. Since then, we've been trying to run relief aid, whatever we could to the most needed areas. I met my guys from Coral Vida who just happened to see me on the street and they started bringing in things. So nobody here had to worry about actually going hungry. But this would have been not government coming in, but people that we know. Hurricane Dorian destroyed our coral farm here in Freeport, but it strengthened our resolve in our fight to save the world's coral reefs. So coming to the coral farm and seeing it absolutely ravaged was definitely a heartbreaking experience, but I also know that we can rebuild this. It is a really tough experience though to be sitting here where there used to be corals growing behind me that we were using as a marine education center for local kids. Um, but I know that we're gonna still get back after it. And we're not only gonna rebuild this farm, but continue building coral farms around the world because reefs and communities in need um, are in nearly 100 countries and conditions are only worsening as climate change grows. The coral reefs and mangroves here in the Bahamas saved countless lives during the hurricane because reefs are nature's seawalls that shelter coastlines by dissipating wave energy up to 97%. However, 50% of the world's reefs have died in the last 50 years alone leaving coastal communities far more vulnerable to increasingly powerful and more frequent storms. This is the fourth straight year with Category 5 hurricanes in the Atlantic that's unprecedented. Um, so this is an example of how the climate emergency is happening now. and It's a taste of what's to come uh, for coastal communities and islanders all around the world. Innovators and entrepreneurs and investors need to come together to start a restoration economy of sorts where people can protect and nourish and rebuild all these ecosystems that ultimately not only sustain amazing wildlife around the world, but take care of us, humanity. The problem is global in scope, and we must rise to meet the challenge. We ask you to support Coral Vita so that we can continue to protect our world's coral reefs. To learn more about how you can support our project, please go to our website at coralvita.com.